Science is an opportunity to help people at scale, not help one person at a time, but help thousands, potentially millions of people in a single fell swoop. My name is Neil King. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Biochemistry at the University of Washington's Institute for Protein Design. Our mission is to design and create new proteins to solve 21st century challenges in medicine and beyond. We have been fortunate to be in a position where we could develop a platform technology that, that can be quite useful for making new vaccines. The pandemic was kind of this double-edged sword where it's this horrible thing, right, that all of us wish had never happened. And yet it absolutely catalyzed a lot of the work that we were doing and, and helped it move much more rapidly than it otherwise would have. So one of the core technologies that we have here at the IPD is the ability to design proteins to self-assemble into larger structures. We turn these into vaccines by taking just one fragment of a virus and attaching that to our protein nanoparticles. The reason this makes a better vaccine is because your immune system has evolved to detect repetition as a danger signal. So viruses themselves are symmetric, repetitive arrangements of proteins. Bacterial cell walls have repetitive chemical elements. So when your immune system sees repetition, it mounts a vigorous response against that. Durability is a question mark for everybody right now. We've all gotten a third dose of mRNA and, and there's a debate right now about whether people should be getting a fourth dose. It is conceivable that boosting with a protein-based vaccine may provide a more durable immune response. And these self-assembling proteins that we design, we have been able to use to elicit broadly protective immune responses against many different viruses, not just a single virus. So we had been working on kind of that core technology for a few years before the Audacious project but Audacious really allowed us to scale up our efforts there. And so when SARS-CoV-2 hit, we were positioned to immediately pivot and go full force into this. If we do this right, then we should be able to make a vaccine that prevents the next pandemic. And right now it would be preventing a new SARS-like coronavirus from making the jump to humans. And there have been two of those in the last 20 years, SARS and SARS-CoV-2. I've been on this journey for almost 20 years now where I wanted to make new medicines, build new medicines out of self-assembling proteins. And so to be here today and, and be in a position where this worldwide pandemic breaks out and two years later, we've got a vaccine in phase three that may go out into the world and help people is really a, a dream come true.